185 pounds. And I'm going to share some pictures of when I was close to 300 pounds. As you can see, I'm getting down there and the raw vegan fruitarian diet is really working wonders for me. Now, um, I'll pull up so you can see. I'm starting to slim down my belly. And I still have <laughs> this, which is a work in progress, and that uh, requires exercise and boosting up my collagen production with uh, vitamin C and orange and red juicy fruits. So um, I still have some thunder thighs, <laughs> but that will go down with time. And those, uh, if you want to know what exercises are best to start toning up, especially if you're having knee problems or back problems and stuff like that, the simplest thing that I do is just, I do a little like this. And sometimes I'll alternate from side to side. It's almost like a belly dance where you just, you just alternate and you get your knees active. You don't really have to push down or because that's going to really put stress on your knees. You just kind of, you want to build up those muscles and start slowly. So you're just kind of like doing a little, if you can see that. You just go on side to side. Um, I also do a little bit of a squat and I go down as far as I can before it starts to hurt. And then I come back up. And if you can get all the way down, it's a good idea to do that. And then you have plies where you can go down as far as you can and come back up. And I like to double this up with some arm motion and bring my arms up like so. And, and do the plie. And you do about five to ten of those. Do what you can, but don't overdo it. But don't underdo it either. And then another good thing is, is to take a chair. And uh, I'm going to put it out to the side so you can see what I'm doing. A, a good way to exercise this part is to do this what happens is while you're giving this motion this other leg you are uh, engaging those muscles and it's making them work while you're putting your leg out to the side like so and then you just switch to the other side and you do eight to ten reps or if you can do 10 to 15 that's even better because you really want to feel that burn and then I also take the chair and I move it up a little bit and I stand sideways and I go left, right, left. So we can get a wide range of motion in the hips and open those hips up and strengthen the leg at the same time. And then you move your chair or move your body to the other side and do the same. When you're kicking with your left leg, you want to hold the chair with your left arm. When you're kicking with your right leg, you want to hold the chair with your right arm. Okay? And then, for strengthening exercises, hold on. I had to go get my band. All right, let's move this chair. If you want to strengthen up your back muscles, I have this thing. Now, you can do it with uh, this width. Let's see. All right, the width goes from side to side. Okay, and you put that behind your back, <clears throat> excuse me, and wrap it, wrap it. So you're going to be like this, all right? And what you're going to do is you're going to take your hands and go out, pull out, and watch what happens when I pull out. Now it doesn't do it so much for me because I'm used to doing it folded. So I fold mine up and that creates some real good tension and I hold it like this. So behind me, if you can see it's like this, okay? And then what I'm doing is I'm going like this, I'm pulling at it. 
Now, when you pull at that, you want to make sure that you're using your shoulder blades. Um, I'm going to turn around and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about when I do this exercise. See how my shoulder blades go in toward each other? And you'll do that and you'll hold that for about 8 to 10 seconds. And that's going to strengthen your back, especially if you have poor posture. Like see, let me show you. <clears throat> see where my ears are? They should be back here. Now watch what happens when I do the exercise. Where do my ears go? They should be over my shoulder. And this is how we should be standing. So, <laughs> it really works the back muscles, let me tell you what. And it opens up your chest as well. Um, those are good exercises. And then you can put your hands down on a desk and you can do little push-ups like that or up against the wall. I prefer doing up against the wall, but you just um, push against the wall with your body weight, with your arms shoulder width apart, legs shoulder width apart, and let's pretend here's a wall. And you're leaning up against that wall, right? Now you want your, see how straight my arms are? This is where you want to place your arms when you're leaning up against the wall. And then you just lean in, kiss the wall, and push back and do about 15 to 20 of those. And then, here's another little um, exercise you can do. I like to take my chair, and if you have one of these, great. If you don't, I would suggest getting one. I wrap it around. Wait a minute. I used the other chair in there. Well, we can use this one. So I don't need to do it twice, but I put one knee on the chair to hold the chair and then I tug here and I just pull back and same concept when we were doing the band behind the back, you pull those shoulder blades in and you do about 15 to 20 of these and that will start building up your back muscles to straighten your posture out. Had a bitch. Anyways, those are a few exercises that I do right now. <clears throat> um, I also like to stand on the steps. And let's say this is a step. And I'll put my foot about here. <laughs> and as you can see, you can do stretches like that. You can just hang there for a minute. And you can also build up your strength by raising up. And then come down, raise up, come down, raise up. Hey, you know what? This is a good way to do this too on a chair. If you don't have stair steps, grab your chair and hold on to the back of it. Keep your back straight. See how straight mine is? And then just, huh, I kind of like this <laughs> actually. And then just up and down and then just hang out there for a minute and let the the muscles in the back of your legs stretch out and then come back up. You can hold that for a second if you want to add some more oomph to your exercise and then be careful getting down. I would not, let me repeat, strongly suggest that you would not do any kind of lunges if you are my weight unless you have help or you know exactly how to do them I pulled a hamstring <clears throat> and it's taken its good old time <laughs> you know hamstrings take longer to heal than any muscle in our body I think so um, I, I hope that the audio is good on this if not I'll do a voiceover after I check it but um, I would highly and strongly suggest that you stick to easy exercises if you're working on losing weight and you have incorporated a healthier diet you're you're naturally going to drop the pounds I mean that's a given that is one of the beautiful side effects of eating healthy is that the weight starts falling off because all that toxic mess that was inside the body my stomach used to stick out to here 
I'm serious. It looked like I was pregnant with triplets. I had a big stomach, a big butt, and these were way bigger, <laughs> you know, and it was just very uncomfortable. But when you start to eat healthier, that just automatically starts flushing out of your body, especially if you're eating a lot of juicy fruits that are full of healthy, nutritious vitamins and water rich um, vegetables and fruits. They, they hydrate your body and the body needs that hydration in order to operate. And when we go to sleep at night, your body pulls all that water to function and to clean and to tox detoxify. And in the morning you wake up, you need to put that water back in somehow. Um, a lot of people say get up and drink a glass of water. I do, I still drink a glass of water or two sometimes in the morning just to get a head start and get things moving. But then immediately after that, not immediately, within a half an hour after drinking my water, um, when I start to feel the hunger, half an hour to an hour, some days I, I'm hungry right away, some days I'm not. But when I start to feel the hunger, then I flood my body with um, juicy fruit and liquids of that nature. So there's a few exercises that you can do that are easy, low stress, and um, won't make you sore unless you do them wrong or do too many of them. Um, you want to be a little bit tender when you're exercising, otherwise it's not working. So if, if you feel like you do, like say you do one rep of 10 per squats, one rep of 10 per the uh, back uh, exercises and you do 10 reps of whatever and the next day you don't feel any different in your body, up the amount because maybe your body needs a little bit more friction. <laughs> so anyway, um, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the next episode. Toodles!